What's up YouTube, it's your boy Lopes and welcome back to another video. Today we're sitting in Alex's brand new, brand new used 2015 Audi S3. I hope you guys like some of those cinematics, this thing's absolutely crazy. And we are introducing some Euro into the channel. And Mr. Alex, what made you get Euro? Like we've been JDM our whole lives. What, what inspired you for Euro? To be honest with you, I just wanted something different. I see, yeah, I see. I just wanted something different, something fun, looks good, still sporty, still has a bit of power, and just something out of my element, I guess. I see, I see. I, don't get me wrong, I, I love it. I, this is, uh, if I had to go Euro, it'd be either Audi or Beamer. Uh, yeah. But I really enjoyed the S3 and so far with our little drive along and stuff like that, I've been enjoying it. But how long have you had it already? <laughs> uh, what is it? I would say like, like a month? Two? No, two months, I would say. And what's done to it already? <laughs> I already have cog, so, so stage one. And then I, the transmission's tuned also, right? Yeah. Very, very cool. And if we can hear, his, uh, it's a little windy, but he's already cut his res too, so. Now we're gonna get some in-car pulls, some in-car driving, and let's we'll talk about the car a little bit. And maybe some of Alex's little bit of plans he has for it, because it's not gonna be a crazy, crazy build but it definitely will uh, pull some power behind it. Well, Alex's 2015 Audi S3 has, I think, 292 horsepower and 280 torque. Yep. It shares the same motor as the Golf R, uh, and it has, it's not a DSG transmission, is it? DSG, yeah. So it's a DSG transmission, and they're one of the better transmissions you actually can get for like any type of like Tiptronic or anything along those lines. I think better would be like a Porsche or a Ferrari, but that's obviously a different league, but honestly, it shifts pretty good for what it is, and it shifts pretty quick, and especially because you have the transmission tune, it's even a little quicker now, yeah. correct? Yeah. So, not bad, like, I, we're enjoying it so far. It's nice to be inside luxury, too. That's uh, that's definitely a first for us, right? Yeah. We're, we're used to our, like, Hondas and Subarus, but why'd you sell your Subaru, bro? Just, the love isn't there anymore. Got sick of it, it's time for yeah. something new. And before any like major, ma the, the next major thing would have been a motor, right? Like rebuild the motor and this and that. And honestly, my heart wasn't in it to spend the money to build the motor, to be honest with you. It makes sense, especially of how far you push that Subaru. Next would be building the motor. And if you're not in love with it, you know, oh, can you guys hear that? <laughs> so if you're not in love with the car, you're not gonna spend all that money in building the motor, but Alex's Subaru is amazing. If you guys haven't checked it out, we have videos, reviews, tons of cinematics on it so go check that out uh, but so far so like good like I'm really enjoying the s3 it's all-wheel drive has power this thing launches like a beast the 0 to 60 on this car is nuts especially with the tune Alex has on here and I'm very sure by next year Alex will have a little more power than he does right now too so Alex what are your plans for this lovely Audi s3 honestly my plans for this I would say it's not gonna be like the way the Subaru was but I'd probably get like a like a lip package maybe right with like a spoiler not like a big spoiler but like a duck bill kind of spoiler and possibly stage two very nice and how much power do you push around that stage two mark uh probably around 350 wheel horse and like almost 400 torque that's insane on 91 all 91 that's insane because the amount of power and the amount of work you need to make that Subaru to hit those numbers is a lot. Upgraded turbo and all that. So for this, it's literally just kind of like base map tunes, downpipe. And a downpipe. A downpipe and then an exhaust or something? No, just like a downpipe. Just a downpipe. And then downpipe you just, and a, like a, a tune. proper tune. And, and you can throw an intake on there. And uh, you're, around that, you're around that power range. That's too. insane. So you want to get a little crazy, you can spend like 1500 bucks to two grand on a turbo and you'll be like mid-force. That's absolutely insane. Take into consideration that my CSX, my HN pretty much, was supercharged and was only making 367. Alex's Subaru had upgraded turbo, everything done to it, and it was only making how much probably around? It was like around like 360-ish horse and like 380 torque, something yeah. like that. So somewhere around those lines, and like we had, he had everything done, like pretty much everything except yeah. a header, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much everything except a header. The car was a lot of fun, but like, 
in these Audis, you gotta do a lot less to make a lot more. In a sense, if you guys know what I mean, like your dollar goes further in these Audis because these motors just somehow handle way more power and these transmissions actually handle it pretty well too, which is really good because a lot of these cars that are CVT, DSG, well, maybe not as much DSG, but more CVTs, the more power you put into it, the shittier they get and the transmissions are really going on you. Uh, I know Super CVTs are pretty bad and like, you know, some of like the Mazdas yeah, and all that Honda. type of stuff, Hondas. As soon as you start putting power into it, you, it can't handle it. It ends up blowing. Uh, but it's kind of nice to see that DSG is actually a lot more responsive. Like, let's get like a few little downshifts and let's see. As soon as he touched it. And then. I think it's like it shifts like 0.8 milliseconds. That's insane. So what's amazing about that is like you ain't. It doesn't matter how fast you shift, you're not shifting faster than that, like in a manual car. Yeah. You're not shifting like 0.8 seconds, and if you do, that's quite impressive. But this is a nice car. Even though it doesn't come manual, I think they did a really good job with how the, uh, the car drives with the paddle shift and the DSG. Really puts you into the seat and makes you feel like you're still in control of the car, because I know a lot of times when you start driving automatic, the car does everything for you. And this does a really good job of making you feel like you're still in control while driving the car. Uh, we're definitely gonna get a few pulls and stuff. This is just a little bit of the talking segment right now. So talking about the car and the plans, and we're gonna get a few pulls and hear it from the outside and uh, we can hear how fast those shifts really are. Sounds pretty good. What do you got done to it? Is that just like a Resolute? Just Resolute. Nice. It sounds pretty good, right? Uh, do you guys want one more pull? <laughs> Check out the interior. So he's got the black with the red leather in the middle. Got some red stitching all along. And what's really cool is like, this is like some type of like white wood grain here. I'm a big fan of the flat bottom steering wheel also. I think it looks really, really good. The red stitching all around looks really, really nice too. And this thing just shifts really well, even though it's automatic, it's DSG, it shifts really well. Don't mind our Tim Hortons, you know, uh, gotta get our fix. But even the red stitching in the boot here and the shift knob and all your just simple controls, like Audi did a really good job of like having quality. Like this is all, this all feels great. They did a great job with the quality, but like the simplicity at the same time. Like really, really like it. Good sound system in here. As you guys can probably hear, hopefully I don't get copyrighted. You can hear a, a little Wayne uh, release right there, but the Quattro system on this is pretty good. Like we're definitely, I know you're not gonna winter drive it, but if you ever yeah. take it out in the winter, we'll uh, definitely see how she handles in comparison to your Subaru. I think that'd be an interesting video. Or I think the Subaru, the Subaru yeah, but this yeah. thing is still probably pretty good, but honestly, super, super clean. This is basically how I would have my car. Like, I think just lowered with a set of wheels, nice little duck bill and lips all around. And 110%, in my opinion, chrome delete with maybe like a carbon mirror. But aside from that, and maybe the RS3 grill, because I think the RS3 grill is black, right? But aside from that, this thing's really, really sick. Congrats on your new car, dude. Thanks, man. This thing is awesome. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. This was just us introducing Alex's car and doing a very small but intimate kind of review. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm really, really enjoying the car too. Uh, I've definitely driven it already, but uh, today I was just holding the camera letting Alex do the wonders. I want to say thank you so much for watching, guys. Big shout out to Mr. Alex, as always, for letting us do this review with his car. Um, any mods that we do on the car, We'll try keeping you guys in the loop also if Alex decides to, you know, not do it without me and just kind of getting it done. Like I wanted to do maybe a cop comparison, but you know, Alex, is, uh, Alex did it quickly, but it's okay. Anything, maybe we'll get some wheels and stuff like that in the future. We'll keep you updated and maybe if you guys really enjoy this, 
comment down below so I know you guys enjoy some of the Euro content and we can get more in. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Alex, again. Like, comment, subscribe. Do it once. Do, Do it right. once. Do it right. Peace. Peace.